Culinary Director of Point Leo Estate. Phil Wood is joining me today. I love your food and I've been to both of your restaurants down there, Laura <laughs> and Point Leo Restaurant. The food's incredible. This is also on the menu. What this, are we making? Yeah, this is on the menu. So um, we're making a lovely crumpet mm -hmm. with uh, beurre blanc and some mussels. You know the way to my heart. I love beurre blanc. I'm going to get you to uh, crumpet batter, mm -hmm. first of all. So yes. I'm going to get you to pick up the flour. Yep. Um, chuck in a bit of plain flour there. And we're going to make a batter which you can do it the morning of, about an hour beforehand, yep. leave it out on the bench, or you can do it the night before, mix it up and then um, pop it in the fridge and finish it the next day. You've got sugar there. Yep. That's for the yeast to feed on because yeast is living. Yep. Well, almost living. Almost. <laughs> it will be in a minute. Um, so yeast goes in after the sugar. Okay, so just instant G yeast? Yeah, instant yeast, yep. just for the convenience really. Sure. So once you've mixed that through the flour, we've got some milk there. We'll mix mm -hmm. that in. Yeah, I love crumpets. I remember as a little kid having crumpets for breakfast with a bit of butter, maybe some Vegemite. Mm. But I've never made them from scratch, so it's quite interesting to see. Is it? It's different it's, from the, the yeah, store ones. They will, be, they'll be quite different. They'll be less, uh, less sort of spongy, a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit sweeter. Nice. Yeah, it will be quite a thick batter, kind of like a. Um, you want it to be a sort of yogurty kind of consistency. Right. Does while you're doing that batter, yep. I'm going to put together a sauce to go with these mussels. We're going to pop white wine in. Mm -hmm white vinegar and we're just going to reduce that down to about a tablespoon okay. but we're going to infuse it with some eschalots mm -hmm. and some pepper. Nice. So with the eschalots you can slice them or dice them, up to you, yep. really up to your skill level to be honest. Well, if you want chunky onions go for it but if you want them a little finer Feel your cookies do you want refined. To do, do you so want to do these ones? You're definitely doing it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, um, so always keep your fingers out of the way because yep. you don't want to chop your fingers off. But the fingernails are there for a reason. It's the guard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a natural guard. So, yeah, you just go through, slice them as fine as you can do it. It doesn't matter if you can't do them super fine. Eschalots have that beautiful sweetness, that subtlety yeah. uh, that we're after. You probably wouldn't use a brown onion. No, you wouldn't like use this. a brown onion. So we're just going to pop that in. Mm -hmm. Let it bubble away and it will just infuse nicely. Then we get our pepper, Okay. throw it in a mortar and we'll just crush it. You, now with the pepper, you can just leave it in because it's a flavour, it's going to stay there, mm. it's going to be beautiful. Just throw it in. Goes. It's great. Okay, now that I've um, got that sauce on, the last yep. thing you're going to add to your crumpet batter is a little bit of butter. Okay, in it goes. Alright, so once you've finished that, mm -hmm. you're just going to leave that to sit overnight or for a couple of hours on the bench. Nice one. And this is one that you've done a little earlier yeah. and it really has thickened up, hasn't it? Yeah, it does. So once that, that yeast comes alive and it just starts to eat that sugar and mm. that flour and it will develop a little bit of flavour. So you get that nice sort of mm. acid sweet thing happening and it should smell like a bakery. I love the yeah, smell of that. It's the best. What's next? So the next, the last thing mm -hmm. is we have a little bit of bicarb. So that's what makes a crumpet a crumpet. So this is kind of a pancake and yep. at this point you add bicarb and it creates that air, makes them light nice. and makes them fluffy. So we'll put that in, mix it through and then you just leave it for about 10 minutes on the bench, let that activate and you'll see all the big bubbles coming out of it. It'll start to become alive. It'll come alive. <laughs> so while we're waiting for that batter to really get nice and light and fluffy, yep. what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these mussels straight into a cold pan. Cold pan? Cold pan, I know. It's a bit weird, isn't it? So normally, you know, you'd be ripping hot pan yep. quick as you like. Mm -hmm. But um, the best way to cook mussels, cold pan, lid on, slow start. What's the reasoning behind it? Well, I went out on a mussel boat with a fisherman yep. and uh, he showed me how to cook them this way and I figured, you know, you might as well listen to the expert. And the texture is... The texture, they'll end up softer, yep. a little bit sweeter. So now we're just going to wait for those mussels to open. Yep. Once they're open, we'll take them out of the shell to go into the sauce later. Sounds good. <laughs> Delicious. Your batter is alive. It's alive, it's ready to go. <laughs> now we're just going to cook them in this little frying pan here. Okay. So if you pass me that. Can do. Pop in some oil. Yep. Get that nice and warm. And then we're just going to use a ladle and ladle the uh, the batter in. So once it's nice and hot, a little yep. ladle. There it goes. Wow. That's a big crumpet. It's a big a crumpet. Big crumpet. <laughs> yeah. And then we're just going to make the sauce while that's cooking. So we've got our pan on. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm just going to get you to put some butter in while I whisk. So the butter needs to be cold when you're making it, a beurre blanc? It, yeah, it does. Just gives you a little bit more control, otherwise you'll probably split it. And for the crumpet, how do we know when to turn it? Uh, you know when to turn it when, see all these bubbles that are starting to come out? Mm -hmm. When they all start bursting on the top and you get a little bit of a dry ring around the side, yep. that's when it's ready to turn. Sounds good. All right, we'll finish this beurre blanc. With a beurre blanc, you've got to make sure that you keep an eye on it, subtle heat, exactly. and little by little feed it with some more butter yep. uh, so it doesn't split. Because we wouldn't want to split the beurre blanc. Well, you wouldn't. You can fix it, but... Yep. No, you don't want to split it. No, I mean, no. it feels here. We're not going to be splitting the bird lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Charles, now you can see those bubbles are all starting to burst. Mm -hmm. We're ready to turn it. Okay. Right, Jazz, we've got our sauce here. It's just got enough butter in it. Yeah. Just a couple of pounds. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to finish it off. So yep. first thing, mussels. Okay. They just go straight in. Okay. Oh, yum. Two good. of my favourite things, <laughs> mussels and bourbon. Just oh, the Oh, they're best. so good, aren't they? <laughs> and then if you can just grab me the celery. Yes. We'll pop that all in. So that's just celery that's been blanched. Yeah, just blanched for about a minute just okay. to take the rawness out. And then we've got some roast walnuts. So you can just throw as many of those in as you want. Just to provide a nice little bit of texture. Mm, beautiful flavours. All right, Jazz, everything's in there. Just yep. going to test it to see if it needs a little bit of lemon juice. Sure. And also salt, because the mussels are salty enough sometimes, so it doesn't yeah, need Yeah, they much. often don't really need that much yep. salt in these kind of sauces yep. with mussels. Yeah, Thoughts? just a little bit of lemon, not too much. Lemon. Squeeze the lemon. All right, just give it a squeeze. All right, perfect. Nice. And we'll put, like, three grains of salt in there. Counting those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. cheeky. Yeah, perfect. There you go. All right, great. Now to finish, just mm -hmm. some chives. Okay. So we're going to pop them in. Mm -hmm. And our trick to get your chives nice and tight, you just get a little kitchen towel, round you go, hold it together. And it just mm. makes it nice and easy to chop so you don't get rubber band and geo chives. So probably that's enough. Probably could have done a bit finer than that. Though. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you to do it next time. <laughs> All right. And that's, and that's our sauce. Now we've got our crumpet. Okay, um, it's nicely cooked. I'm just going to pop that directly in the middle of the plate. You can see all those little bubbles. Yeah, so it looks like a pancake, but it'll be super light. So. And then we've got our mussels, our sauce. I'm just going to put as much as you like. I'm just going to spoon that all over. Oh my gosh, Phil, that looks ridiculously amazing. We must try this. For you, sir. Thank you. You got this. Oh, I love this thing. Oh, it already feels. Look how fluffy that is inside. You're right. It's going to absorb all that butter as well. Oh, it's more nice. butter. Muscle. Mm. Incredible. This is why you are one of my foodie heroes, because your food <laughs> is just so yummy. Traditional technique. Um, the subtlety and that beautiful crumpet it is why Point Leo Estate yeah. is just famous for its food. Because Thank of you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely delicious. <laughs>